Okay, so just to make it very clear, that is how I, I actually want you pulling guard. I'm not saying like these are optional, like these are better ways to pull guard than just pulling guard normally. It's, it's a slightly conceptual because you're like adding a, a layer of complexity. You're trying to like pull him for a reason rather than just like just jumping in there trying to pull guard. So let's just take it back to basics. This is for the bigger boys who it's harder to like fall down smoothly without like, you know, breaking your opponent's leg or something. So we're gonna go, we're gonna be pulling half guard. And this is just a, a very simple thing that I don't really see anyone in here use, just pulling half guard. Albert, you pull half guard? You do? Sometimes? Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see if it's a similar way. So pulling half guard is really nice because you can do it off failed things. So you can do it off a failed shot you can do it off, uh, like when he shoots something and fails, like you can kind of like get underneath and pull half guard. So let's do it off of a failed shot. So I don't really, maybe I don't want to do judo with it, but I also, or, or I know he's going to pull guard on me and I want to be the one on bottom. That, that's a very common thing for half guard players is I don't necessarily want to be on top, but I don't, and, and I don't want to try for the takedown, but I know this guy wants to pull guard too. And so in this scenario, he's gonna be trying to pull guard with those grips I just showed you, like more distance grips. The half guard player will have the advantage because you don't need the same grips because you're reaching to the leg and lo the lower body to initiate your grip. So I can do this from, from a distance. So what we're gonna be do doing for the half guard players is I'm going to be reaching to the leg like this. But the cool thing about this is when I reach for someone's leg, he's gonna step this leg back. He's gonna try and like get it away from me, right? A lot of times they'll even turn and like turn this way to kick the leg away. So this is kind of the same thing. Instead of off balancing him by pulling him in, I'm threatening him with a single leg and my intention might not be to actually take him down. My intention is just to make him resist. So that now I have a really solid uh, frame to hold on to and I can pull myself in to half guard situations because he's kind of like rigid at that moment. So it doesn't really work if you don't do that because if I, if I walk at him and try and pull half guard like this, I have no control and he's just gonna go right into a knee cut because I did it with no grips. But by attacking a single leg first, not even a single leg, I'm literally just touching behind his, his knee, like grabbing his hamstring. By going like this, he's gonna push on me and resist and I just have to really make a solid meat hook, like really get this hand tight around his leg, not just like this. You want a, like a solid hook. It doesn't have to be up to your elbow but you do have to get your hand engaged so that he steps back and tries to resist. I'm gonna step a leg forward as he does that, and then my right leg just goes up here. And the nice thing about this is it turns right into an underhook because it goes from here to here without him ever having a chance to reweave and get his own underhook, right? Whereas if you pull half guard with a collar grip, if I pull half guard like this, he gets the underhook and then I'm screwed. You have to fight for underhooks always at every level, white belt to black belt. Underhooks are 80% of the fight. So he resists, step that leg back hard. Like you really want to step it away. And then from here, I'm just squeezing and trying to lift. I don't go like this down at his ankle. I go high at his knee, engage my knee near his hip so that when I see the opportunity, I can switch to my underhook and actually start doing half guard attacks. Does that make sense? Yeah, any questions? Okay, let's try that one. One, two, one, two. Try and like think about it like you're trying to move up at the same time. Like get higher on her leg rather than lower because this is kind of like going into quarter guard, right? So try and grab like higher and then pull guard with this leg up more. Yeah, so you can kind of try and catch this knee behind your quads as much as possible. Try again. See, because I mean that hand, she can't really underhook you. And half guard is only good if you have an underhook. So like you don't want to pull half guard without a super secure underhook follow up. And you can reverse De La Hiva though. That's fine, that, I mean, it, that's half guard. Okay, so that's still okay. Reverse De La Hiva is half guard, is okay. knee cut. Okay. It's all the same. Okay. Half guard, knee cut, reverse De La Hiva okay. is like, it's like changes of like this. Okay. Like okay. it's all the same. Okay, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Half guard. Nice, Jimmy. That's literally like a great style to play. Like half, yeah, half, uh, half guard under, underhook come up on the single is like so strong. Especially when you're losing. Like if someone's kind of like beating your guard up, 
If you can like go to there as a last ditch effort, you can a lot of times reverse it at the last second. Okay. Threaten the takedown more. Yeah. Because there's no point, like when you do the single leg, if it's just a feint, they're gonna be like, oh, it was a feint and then attack you. So if you actually like put some like strength yeah. behind it and like actually like you're kind of giving them a little bit of this too. So it's like. So you want, you want, you want him to truly defend the single leg yeah. to help you set up the half guard. You good? Did I, did I nail you? Sorry. Stomp that leg down. Yes, exactly. Because they have to respect the single leg, and they can't respect the single leg at the same time that they're like pass, about to pass your guard as you pull. You know. You want if if you feel like you can just single leg them, you actually single leg them. Okay. But if if they actually defend because they're better than you, it gives you a chance to pull guard safely because they were busy defending your single leg.